Oh. Oh. Something going wrong with my OBS. <laughs> my uh, chat thing is appearing. Uh, I'll fix that. I'll yeah. fix it live on stream. After my dog chat. Okay, after I remove it and put it back in. Uh. <laughs> Wait, why is it still black? It shouldn't be black. There we go. Okay, mate. The chat just isn't appearing. The chat window won't load. For some reason. Whoa! Massive little lag spike in the game. Oh yeah, we were like finishing this guy off. Yeah, I like that. I kind of want more, more of this, of this, more like more ground down there though. Soil. <laughs> I wish the soil wasn't such like a shit color. <laughs> that doesn't, doesn't look very nice, does it? Maybe we'll do the rough rock down there. Like, obviously we wouldn't want it to actually be rough rock down there. But it's a color that actually looks a little bit more like dirt than the, than the dirt texture does. So let's do it. Um, so we just got to get a couple more plants in here and then this guy will be done. Oh yeah, I want to put some seats and stuff around too. Um, and then onto the otters. So, I was also thinking about this, and since the otters are like an aquatic animal, it probably makes sense to have some place where you can watch them swimming around. Although they're not really swimming around, so... Maybe they're not like that into swimming, so... It'll be okay. Oh no, it's because I've just been fed. Why have the keepers never put the food <laughs> on the food bowls? They don't improve suitability. No suitable species. Wait, they can't use the food bowl for fish? Feed the otters? Is it like filtered by the species that's allowed to use it? Does species? Oh, it's called a giant otter, not just an otter, right? Giant otter. Oh, we can't use a bowl for the otters for something. We have to use a tray. Why is that a thing in the game? Like. <laughs> How is that like in any way reasonable? 
Oh yeah, they could. No, otters will only eat out of a square dish. They won't eat out of a round dish. Duh. <laughs> Underwater beaver. That's kind of cool. But they will drink from there. So that's man. That's probably the problem with why they they never put food in this bowl either. Oh, this one. <laughs> why? <laughs> why is that a thing? Bengal tiger. Why does the food bowl exist in the game if none of the animals will eat out of it? And this thing is shiny. Uh, hey, uh, hi. <laughs> well, we can go about fixing this problem everywhere. These guys will eat out of the food bowl. Oh man, they look really cool when they're all like eating. Probably need more than one food bowl. Oh, we do have another food bowl. So definitely keep us in bother filling this one. Nice. Um, with the crocodiles. Eat out of this thing. Okay, they can. We just happen to give these ones a food tray and a bowl. So only certain animals can eat out of certain shaped dishes. For some weird gameplay reason, I guess. That feels like a very arbitrary decision. But fine. We have no choice but to go with it. What if I make this out of like individual bits? <laughs> These guys. I kind of want to have. I need a. Uh, a piece. So that so that we can make this a building, and then. There are the wall bits. No, I don't know. We don't need this to be very high, so I think that's high enough. This just needs to be high enough that the uh, keepers don't bang their heads on it. Can we... Is there any point where I'm retaining these? I don't think they look any different in different adaptations. Ooh. And also, if we random rotate, then... The, the axes go all silly, so... <laughs> Probably we shouldn't do that. Say anything. <laughs> Good chat. Well, I think the only way for me to like get chat to the chat window to come back would be to close out of OBS and then open it back up again, which means like restarting the stream. And I really want to have to restart the stream. Just I can still see chat if I if I like look over on my preview screen. I'll see uh, I'll see it on that. I just have to look slightly further. I'm not sure about it. Like maybe 
it would have been better to build it out of uh, these ones. Can we? At the very least, it makes sense to like build this bit out of these. Maybe we just like build it out of these, stick them into the ground a bit. Because like I think it's too tall if we use the full thing, but it's like too short if we use the uh, not full thing. Right. Too short if we use the not full. <laughs> Too short if we use the other one. That's what I mean. The not full thing. <laughs> it's hard to say things and think things at the same time, right? Right? Just me. It's just me. It's a me problem. <laughs> Nice. I think that's a good height because it's the same height as the uh and this guy is just loving life right now. Yep. Uh, jumping up and down. <laughs> Man, I just love standing in the crocodile enclosure and jumping up and down. That's what they're thinking. Whoa. I think I need the one extra unit. Oh, and then we just do a little... Grab the one that's a bit longer. <laughs> That's what she said. I'm I'm mature. And building a thing like this really reminds me uh, how good it would be to have like a randomized heights kind of thing. But, uh, then just like do this. Just grab a bunch of them. And manually move them up and down a little bit. Just to make it look a little bit more interesting. That's like a bunch of perfectly uniform pillars. Which it wouldn't be, right? It's just like wood. Big wood logs. You're never going to have them be all Perfectly uniform. Just need to grab that one as well. That's fine. Oh, that's, yeah, that's way better. We gotta get way more of these ones then. Uh, move them around a bit more. It's more variation. I guess if I'd done variation initially, then I'd have slightly less work to do right now. But we don't work like that. What? Working smart? No. Sometimes. But not like first thing on a Monday morning. Probably need to grab some more of these bits. I don't know if we really need a roof on this. I might do like, you know what I should do? I should put a little um, keeper hut thing in here so they can just come and get, get food out of it. Yeah. And have this thing mostly is just an open area. With like some little trellis things on top. Held up by some of these posties, post, postie boys. <laughs> Probably like these ones. Maybe it just like be yeah, 
held up by that. And I suppose we probably want more posts along there. We're going to need to no angle snap for this. Oh, that bit there is at a different angle. Maybe. Yeah, almost definitely. Yes, oh. Woohoo. You know, like the path tool in like Photoshop and stuff. It would be cool if we had something like that. Where you can just tell stuff to follow the part of other stuff. So like, I could just tell these I could like copy paste a bunch of logs and tell the game, yeah, I want all those logs to be loggy. Uh, I want all those logs to be like built along the uh, along the path of the vents. Wouldn't that be cool? A little like quality of life feature. Not really necessary. Could make it really way easier to build like uh curvular things. Curvular things. <laughs> circular. I just combined circular and curvy into one thing. That's it, that's a word now, curvular. If you don't like it. I mean that's fair enough. You don't have to like it. But I like it. Maybe we just like rotate all of this just a little bit. Be a very precise movement. Let's not. Come on. There we go. You can barely even tell it's been rotated. Just the height space a little bit. This one can be extra tall. Yeah, that's all. Tiny gap there. Yeah, there we go. We can fix that. We've got another tiny gap. Those gaps don't really matter. Pencil thin, pencil thin, paper thin. I mean, they're probably actually pencil thin. If you get right up to it, I think you could put a pencil in there. Bit of pencil in there. <laughs> phrasing. We still doing phrasing. Nice. All right, and we need some like little bits to stick up on top of there. Those are as little as the bits get. I mean, I guess we could do, do it with like 
Went sideways. Woohoo! Yes, very exciting, isn't it? You gotta give these guys some credit. They they clearly love their jobs at the zoo. Jumping up and down for joy every single day. Not even once a day, but every single time that they walk into an exhibit to do their job of feeding the animals, they're like, Yeah! Whoa! Best job in the world! Uh, it's not going to quite fit in here. It's going like, to stick out a little bit on one side or another. Uh, I wish there was like a smaller version of this guy. Which is not something that she ever said. Please. Arthur. This is a... this could be good. Sorry that's what I was thinking of, fellas. Ooh. This is nice, but it's a bit too big and, like, widely spaced. Uh, I think we'll just make it ourselves out of horizontal be beams. These guys. Boom, boom, boom. Bam. Um, wait, this is not a horizontal beam. I mean, this it is a horizontal beam, but it's not like one of the. Uh, isn't there a square beam? Oh, there is, but it's like super thick. There's no like thin square beam in this set. <laughs> I do want these ones to be square. Maybe we just use East Asia water wheel beams. See, calm down. You get. I I think it's fine. You don't you don't need to like run on the spot. It's not getting you there any faster. Lee. Oh, is she actually gonna put it into the new uh the new thing? Let's see. Come on. She's coming for it. She's still in it. Yay! Yay! Wow! Wow, that's a... It's like a TARDIS bucket. And look, it's still full, even after she filled up that whole tray with that tiny bucket. Makes, uh... Makes sense. These are also circular. And are all these things circular? No. Not all of them. That is. And the Arctic wood actually kind of fits quite well with this. But it's way too thick. The bamboo. That guy. Bamboo again. Bamboo is not square. You wouldn't really expect bamboo to be square, would you? Well, I mean, you might, but you shouldn't. Wait, what? Huh, oh, that's weird. Those ones like are oriented the other way. Hmm. Why is every beam cylindrical? Not these ones. Are these recolorable. Okay. This one will be a road because it, it's uh painted. Do, do, do. Uh, just like brown. Because <laughs> I like, have a good look at how that fits with the. I guess these are like really grayish brown, aren't they? We want like. We don't want to perfectly match that color, but we want something that kind of fits with them like that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do on these edges where it like meets there. Looks a bit weird that. I guess they could just be like notches cut into the middle of these, of these guys, for them to like sit on, right? Ooh, 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 ooh. Looks like that works. Line them up with the middles of the. 
of the guys. <laughs> the middles of the guys. That little like light one is gonna bug me actually. They don't have to be like perfectly lined up. This is meant to be a slightly like rustic little building. Plus, we're gonna put a bunch of like vines or something on top of this. The amount of like completely off topic with what we're doing, but who cares? <laughs> there's not there's not that much you can say about it's right there's a well there is stuff you can say but there's only so much that you can really say about building a zoo i've already said it all no but i said enough maybe i said too much there's me in the corner there's me in the spot light <laughs> Losing my camera position. Perfect. Doesn't really meet in a particularly good spot here. Maybe we just like stick another, another pillar there. It's like sticking out a bit. Kinda works. Yeah, I like that though. Um, probably like these, uh, not those two. <laughs> this one could get deleted. We're gonna probably want to put some kind of floor in here as well. Some kind of floor. Floors, sandstone floor. It's like up in here. That one can't be recolored. Snow blocks. <laughs> Thatch. Stone bricks. <laughs> Temple floor. I do like these bricks. Green um, pipe. Give us like total freedom where we're gonna put it. Oh yeah, this is the spot where we're going to build a building as well. What was the building? It's the facility... Stuff facility? We need to go to favourites. Man, I definitely favourited things, didn't I? Or maybe not staff facilities, only favourited guest facilities that are like... Keep a heart small. There we go. So we want one of these in here. Just as like a spot for them to store food and stuff. So I assume that will make it easier for them to feed these animals, having like a heart right next to them. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know much about the mechanics of this game. Except the building mechanics. That, that's the only thing I really know. Look at that. Saving early and saving off. It's the Sierra Adventure Game Way. Man, I'm almost too young to know about Sierra Adventure games, so that's for most people on Twitch. Never even heard of them. Select group. Got it, group. Make this its own group. And I think we just want it to be like a little up. It's a tiny little a little roof on it. Probably not like that. Go on, but um, oh, that'd be cute. Bit weird. <laughs> it's like a little rusty tin roof. Tin roof, rusted. Tin roof, rusted. 
It's such a weird line <laughs> in uh in the song Love Shack. Maybe just a little flat would actually be better. Something like this. It's gonna look like an outhouse. <laughs> General Zoo wooden roof. General Zoo. Hmm. Batch. What's this? Rustic shingles. Sandstone. Pyramid. Ooh, they do kind of look like pyramid blocks, don't they? Pyramidic. Why do I? Go up this side of this. And... Right. It, it looks dumb. <laughs> How about the old Dachi boy? Hey, Dad, that's your boy. Nah, uh, the sides of it look weird. Is there like the trim piece of that side trim? Would make that not look so weird. Not really. It's not one designed for that. Let's just go with the corrugated, the rust, the old rusted, the old tin roof, rusted. Does tin even rust? Like this is an iron roof, right? Corrugated iron. I don't know if tin does rust. It probably does, but it probably doesn't rust like iron does. You know, do other metals rust or does only iron rust? That's more of like a, a word question. Because all met well not all, most metals can oxidize, I suppose. But um They will form different coloured oxides, so only iron rusts like that. Like when copper oxidizes, it looks like this. This is like a fully oxidized copper roof. Asking the important questions, right? Probably. So like. Ooh. Just use these sheets to make like our own angle. But I don't think we'll do that. Oh, look at that guy. I really want to build a East Asian style, as we can say Chinese, but I'll probably go for like Korean or Japanese style. Maybe Japanese style because I like the aesthetics of them quite a lot. And also they're easiest because they use the least colors. Maybe Korean style. I like the Korean style ones. They're quite similar to the Chinese style ones. So are the Japanese ones. Uh, here we go. What is that like? Corrugated. 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 Corrugated bitch. I don't think we want it at all. Maybe it's meant to be put at the top. That would be this one, wasn't it? Kinda lines up a bit better at the top. Uh, not really. Yeah, let's just not do one. Let's just build the, uh, I suppose. Is it just going to be all corrugated iron? No, that's not it. Oh, there we go. there's no corrugated iron pillar. <laughs> Fancy that. Uh, maybe we make it wood. Sure, we'll just search wood. The arctic wood just kind of works, doesn't it? 
Right. We have this like African wood that like matches this wood. Okay, I've got this one. That's not it. It's not the one. It's more of an interior wall, I feel like something like that. Also, rare that you see like the what is it, the parquet. Parquet, I guess. It's weird that you see that in on a wall, right? You usually see that on the floor. Not these guys again. I love them, but we use it all the time, that wood. Because it, it's like the best wood texture in the game. This guy, I guess. It's pretty good. Oh, we're gonna have to like leave a gap in that window. So we, just might need, we might need to put the ceiling higher. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I don't really want to have to do that. I think the Arctic works well. Like, that color I goes fine with the other colors around. Do we have one that matches these? Like, yeah. I have to imagine we do, right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, Optic Boy. There's no little things. Three. Nailed it. I mean, it's not that small of a shed, is it? I mean, it's four meters by four meters. It's a pretty big shed. If you had a shed that size in your backyard, you'd be like, yeah, I got a huge shed. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a shed guy. Maybe that would be considered like a, I don't know, not the best shed. Um, let's get the iron. Let's see if I can, like, do something over here. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's a good work. How about just, like... Little iron sheets. Where were they? They're in here. In here. Iron sheets are three. I like that this one has little nails in it. The other ones don't, but that's, I guess that's fine. Just like I don't really know exactly what I'm doing here. Let's know that it didn't look right. <laughs> yeah, like that doesn't look right, does it? It looks weird. Maybe we can just get some kind of trim to go along there. That look okay. It's like this way. So how's that like weird? I'm stupid. <laughs> what if um what if we just have like that one? Uh, well, maybe like I suppose we need the top bit to make this not look stupid, right? The old topper. Yeah, that looks dumb. Yeah, that looks dumb. Wait a second. 
you know, you need this guy on the top. Well, what if just like that on top is enough to make this work? Too. I guess tip is not a commonly used like bending. So my my hands just like <laughs> automatically decided that was how that word was gonna end. Thanks, thanks hands, thanks fingers. I call them fingers, but uh, never seen a thing. Just like put some of this stuff on the front of here. Line it up, but just have it stick out ever so slightly. Just enough to like stop you from seeing that stupid wood that sticks out. Looks dumb. Looks dumb. Like a beam, an arctic beam. Maybe one of these beams. Oh yeah, one of these beams might do it. I think I'm in the right group right now. I just like surround the roof with these. Put it down like that. I wonder if this is a in 15 degree increments. This like slope. Oh, yes. Nice. Wait, is it? It's not quite. It's like just off 15 degrees. There we go. That looks about right. <laughs> It's like okay. At this zoom level, there's a curses with showing, so this needs to go out like a little bit. Not that much. <laughs> uh, actually, looks about right. <laughs> I, I don't know how right that is. Oh yeah, we need the... Yeah. 
But if we want that window to be visible, we're going to need to like manually do this with panels. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, crap. I don't know how we're going to do those bits. <laughs> We did the easiest thing we ever did. What's going on in this for easy? We're in it for thing. We're in it for the long haul. Maybe. <laughs> That's basically right. Now these side bits here though, is it like a column, a pillar? There is, but it's not the same texture as the walls. That's weird. <laughs> and not helpful. Hmm. That gets a little bit of it in. <laughs> It's just, uh, just a matter of figuring out how we can get in that last little bit. I suppose we'll just have to go with these pillars and have it be a bit different. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I really like that. So that's... I suppose these need to be more centered. Hmm. We just need like a these guys. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Putting all this effort into a little shed, which I really didn't care about. That's just the way we do it. That's how this game is played, right? I can't... Well, I can't... I can't do anything without... Got you to excessive detail. Yeah. I don't know if that's how this game is played necessarily, but it's how I play this game. That yeah, looks alright. I don't even really like the the top bit. The the corrugated metal. I hate that now. I think we want to have some some more of this stuff over over here oh. mm -hmm. over that um, yeah over like this and the way the um Crocodile's brow. It's like a freaky sound, isn't it? It's appropriate that a scary animal like a crocodile would have a scary brow. This guy needs to adjust it a little. Put it like that. Just like 
that. I suppose... Uh, That's alright. Maybe it would be better to have this one resting on there too. It was a bit weird, like it's just floating there. Maybe we need. Now, what was this guy called? Planet Zoo Beam Square Painted. Yes, square paint. <laughs> That's where you have to search to find it. We got some real square pain going on. Once we get all the vines and plants and stuff in around here, and like the decorations, we'll be able to cover up all the bits that look a little bit not great. And uh, it will look perfect. Oh, maybe we should have a little bit of this. I reckon we can spread these out enough to cover that, to cover that little like dis discrepancy. Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> That's still kind of in the middle there. Is it in the middle here even? Yeah, it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. I reckon these should be a little bit shorter. Yeah, it's close enough to the middle. And in here we can have like a bunch of pallets and stuff stacked up. I think we'll have like we'll have like vines and things around here. Not much point to have this window is that you get like a view out to this wall. <laughs> Hopefully we've got a bunch of plants in there. We'll look alright. Oh yeah, we should um make the floor wrap. Even though this is the rock texture. It is the brownest texture. We're gonna put a bunch of plants in there. The animal is starving. They're not getting put, given enough food. Let's put in another one. There you go. I mean, there's food over here. There's like piles of fish here. You're starving. It's your own fault. Starving. Suitable. Yeah, it's suitable. Come on. Let's, let's get a keeper over here. Oh, this guy's done it. Wait, why is all this fish on the ground? Do they like fish or do they like meat? And also, why did you just dump it there? We got the trays. Can we delete this? Oh, yeah. oh this guy's really happy about the starving animals. Zoo alerts. Fix it, you lazy keepers. What is this? Oh, it's just a little bit of terrain sticking through the the path. <laughs> but there's nothing we can do about that. Mm. Uh, let's just make another building for this. How many? There's like a hundred buildings in this park already. 
a hundred buildings, and yet there's only like twenty buildings max. I'm just guessing here. Yeah. Like if we count actual buildings as well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll count the fountain eleven. We'll count this twelve. We'll count this thirteen. 14, 15, 16. Yeah. Oh, 17. 20 was a pretty good guess. And yet, five times too many uh, buildings according to in game thing. So, what kind of like. What kind of path will we make? stone, rustic stone. Boring tiles. Horizontal wooden plank wall roof flat. Logs. Flame stone. <laughs> Blaster. Definitely not. Uh, not that. Yeah, this kind of works. Can't be recolored though. I like it darker. This one can be. We could do this just like it. Yeah, actually. Looks too. The color looks too uniform on it, doesn't it? Maybe we just do these. Doesn't suit the matter. over this way. Probably need another one of these. Yeah. And so like this here. I'll build a gate in there later. I'll figure out some kind of gate. I just still need to figure out how we're going to walk up that bit, but also a later problem. Oh. Pardon me. Just yawning away. I'm going to say I was up late last night, but I wasn't really up that late at all. To go to see a film. Uh, I went and saw Death on the Nile. It's pretty good. I liked it. It's really well made, like, cinematically, it was great. Elements of the plot and stuff were a little bit like, uh... But also, like, it kept you guessing till the end, as long as you haven't already read the, uh, the book. <laughs> the, like, 100-year-old book that it's based on. <laughs> Which I haven't, so... Let me guess if you're in. Uh, what, yeah, what can we do? Stone brick. Stone brick. Must be like the stone brick panel. 
right? B. This guy. Oh, it's different. Why is it different? All of these are different to that. This is different. <laughs> oh, that, that's the same. Well, it's the same size. It's the wrong color. Like, these look like they're the same, right? So these bits are the same. Stone brick wall. Why are the stone brick wall, like, walls different to the stone brick wall other bits? We've got to find some piece that has that on the top of it. Maybe. It's not going to be any of these, because these are all, like, different kinds of stone bricks. Uh, is that going to be something in another category? Nope. Oh. Painted brick. That's not even called stone brick. So it, it has to be something in this lot here. It's not any of these guys. Most of these are like grid pieces anyway. Let's make a castle. What if we like... That don't work. Um... Blah, 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 blah. Just, it looks completely different, so it's not going to work. I like the big slabs, so I think maybe, like, this is actually our best bet, just using this guy. It's the wrong color, but what can you do? At least it's the right size. No, it's not even quite the right size, is it? Oh, no, it is the right size. I mean, we could make the whole thing out of the tops of these pillars. then the color problem wouldn't be a problem anymore. Let's then stick through. Easy enough to just make it go out of this. Gives us a lot more flexibility as well with the shape. So let's do that. So maybe if we, you know what, I'm just going to do the whole thing, and then I'll adjust the bits that need adjusting. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> just so there's like a slight hill there. And what do we like? Okay, grab that. Now, all the animals are starving. see all the problems. And it's like, delete the barrier, remake it. Woohoo! 
Are they just having trouble, like, pathing across this perfectly flat ground to, uh, to there? What? <laughs> What's the problem? Why aren't you feeding the crocodiles? Are they scared of the crocodiles? They don't want to feed them? Or is it because, like, there's the wrong kind of food in here? They can't, they can't figure out how to put the right food in? Like they walk here and then they just jump up and down. They, they don't want to give them food. Food quality must be set on the habitat gate. Maybe like... Multiple habitat gates? What do you mean there's multiple gates? There's only one gate. Where's this other gate? <laughs> We need to delete the gate and replace it. Obstructed. Well, maybe that's the problem. The gate isn't allowed to be here for some reason. The game doesn't tell us what reason, it just says obstructed. Oh, it, it is allowed to be there again. Let's go back to editing this guy. Let's see what we can do as well. Make a little staircase down to it. Probably completely unnecessary. Kind of fun, right? So the steps will need to be a lot wider. Oh, they can't be. Well, this one can be. Just down here. Spin it all down. Alright, okay. Mr. Bean's back. Doing his like weird voice. I making like Karate chop sounds. Okay, well, that looks good now. Are there still problems? What's the problem? Multiple habitat gates. Has the game like randomly generated another gate somewhere? There definitely should not be multiple habitat gates. Like generated. The problem is like all our fences are so covered in scenery. <laughs> it's really hard to see where there might be at another gate that has made itself exist. Maybe the habitat has like joined into the adjacent habitat here. No, because this one's not having any problems. So that can't be the case. There's only one habitat gate. What do you mean multiple habitat gates? What do you mean game? Select the whole thing to set up. Oh. Is that it? So like... Did this thing get broken somehow? that fixed? <laughs> oh, 
We're not going to be able to move any of this over here because like, the um, habitat wall is holding up that water. Saving. Oh, like, I break anything. Pretty sure I'm not going to be able to pick up this whole thing. Like, with the whole thing highlighted, I can't see anywhere along it. There's an extra gate. Wait a sec. Is that bit part of it? It shouldn't be. You can just like grab the whole thing. Drag it out here to see going on. It doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it, right? It looks entirely enclosed. Look, it's entirely enclosed. There's only one gate. The game is just bugging out on us. <laughs> Oh, now there's no problem with it. So if we put the animals back in, it would be okay. Maybe. <laughs> uh, okay. Put them back in. Maybe like the animals will just bugged out or something, or the crocodiles. I don't know why they would, but... game doesn't always follow like any kind of rhyme or reason with stuff happening in it. Sometimes stuff just happens. And we have that like one scene which is like longer than, longer than, yeah, thicker than, wider than. Why did it all the others? There we go. Fixed. Yes. Twenty four problems going on now. Multiple unassigned animals. They are being assigned though, right? Yeah, it's just the crocodiles that need to get moved back in. It's just like fast forward. Maybe like all the problems will go away. Now imagine you're playing in like franchise mode and like losing money because of a bug like this. <laughs> That'd just be annoying. But since we're in sandbox mode. Doesn't super matter. Now what's going on? They're starving. That's because our stupid keepers weren't feeding them. Maybe they'll start feeding them now? Cool keeper. Feed the damn crocodiles. I mean, of all the animals to not feed, surely the crocodile. You want to feed your crocodiles. You don't want hungry crocodiles in the zoo. Jumping up on the viewing platforms trying to eat people. <laughs> oh. Mm, that's fine. We're gonna like cover some of that with the. Perfect. Doesn't stick out on each side. 
dice. That's what you want, isn't it? Um, check this guy. The corner of here. We need that one. Okay. We need that one. Alright. So we got some like multi bits in there. Kind of feel like all of this. Alright. <laughs> Oiled by the uh, axes. Once more. The axes have decided to go troll on us, making it much harder to uh to align these things. But we can do it anyway. Kinda. Get up It's on silent now. We'll uh, do each one one by one. This one is also like in the wrong spot, which is probably contributing to what was making it hard to align. Oh, it's not to the do 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 bit. Oh yeah, we need another little like step steps down bit. steps ever but also we're not going to be looking at this very much but like, they'll be covered by gardens and like the trellis and all this junk it's a real little like another train sticking up there so we have to raise this one more than the others do like another one up here. Jeez. I guess I could have the steps do a little cornery thing. Guess we have to. Open the door in my face, why don't you? <laughs> Sit on a little bit. Okay, all the big warning errors. Warning errors? Warning messages? <laughs> They've all gone away. Which says to me that the crocodile problem has been solved. And now being fed again. All it took was... I don't, I don't know what it is that I did that made them decide to start feeding the crocodiles again. I think they were just bugged out. And now they're not. Oh. Oh. Ah, that can be fixed. We'll just put some like trees and stuff in front of that. They're not feeding the crocodile. 
Well, the crocodiles aren't starving anymore. That's the important thing. Maybe they came and fed them and they were so hungry they ate it all up straight away. You're gonna have to assume that's the case. Mm -hmm. Walk in, look at his clipboard, Whoa. jump up and down. Mm. I think I want, yeah, I want this area here to just be a big old, like, bunch of storage. Yeah. So looks a little bit weird. Maybe I should have done that along here as well. Even though I just said it looks a little bit weird. It's kinda of fine. But if well, what if we like make it like curve into that a little bit? That looks more, yeah, more intentional. Maybe it was always intentional. I uh, I meant it to look exactly like that. Chimochi. Do we go on a monk shop all this area? I think we do. Where's the old, like, yeah, tiny fun. one? We get it's too tiny. Mm -hmm. We use the one by one. And just, like, manually placing these. Why not? I don't know if we do need to follow this so much level of detail in this staff area. Whereas, like, the guests don't actually care about the level of detail that you put in, do they? The guests are just happy with whatever. They will gladly just walk through walls and stuff like that. So, I can't imagine that the walls have any effect on their enjoyment of the zoo. They frequently decide the walls don't even exist. Get some more garden in there. Uh, maybe like I'll change the terrain there a little bit. Maybe just some sand. I got like that. Just want some like. Oh, I. Just like a pile of. Yeah, it's just like a messy little bit. Dirty ground where they they can have some like pallets stacked up. I'll make it part of this building. You also haven't finished the front of this building. How did I never finish the front of this building? We need arctic wool pieces. We need these ones. No. Okay, I guess we need this guy. To remove that and okay, replace it with some of these. That's not quite right. That's as good as it's getting. Just because of the way the textures work on these these logs. Yeah. Ooh, well, I can get some more of these guys in there too. Get like this cool square pane. Square pane. It changed the color on me. That's the one. 
I shouldn't have used these like really tall ones, should I? I was too lazy to push one button to change them to the shorter ones. Then we could stick this out too. No, actually, we don't really want to stick that one out. Or maybe we don't want to stick any of them out then. So we don't want to stick any of them out there. I'm going to have this like so it's just not sticking out. These likewise. It reveals that this is not quite in the right position. There we go. Covers up all the like the like shiny metal bit. We don't want it to look like there's a shiny metal building underneath the wooden building. That wouldn't make sense. Going on here. It, it wasn't important. It's good to get there, doesn't it? I think just because of how these don't line up that very well. Yeah, and now it looks fine. Oh, can I read you? Hello. Yes, I can read that. Um, sorry if you say other things. I didn't, um, man. So, like, I can't read other things you said before, because <laughs> for some reason, I, like, OBS's chat window has stopped working on me today. Uh, so I can only read it by looking all the way over. I missed all the message in the last 40 minutes. Man, what a noob streamer. <laughs> Was there something really cool? Did somebody like reveal the meaning of life? Um, I missed it. But I did, didn't I? How rude of me. Sorry, sorry anyone who was saying saying cool stuff. Sorry, Troll Hunter. And any, everyone else. Uh, yeah, the only way I can get the messages to appear again on chat is to um You're making disgusting jokes about me and made fun of me. Wow. <laughs> oh. I'm glad I didn't see that. I would have been crying. I would have been here, like, just pulling my eyes out, making disgusting jokes. How rude. <laughs> Sorry, Misfit. Sorry for missing, missing it all. Now, what can I do? Um, wait, I think I can, like... Give me, give me a sec. I gotta do something about this so that I can actually read the chat. <laughs> Use my phone. <laughs> That'll make it way harder. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna go in the, into the browser, get the stream manager up, and just like pull out the chat window, pop out chat window. Where is it? Pop out chat, that's the one. I'll close everything else and I'll just like put the chat window in the spot where my chat window usually is in OBS. We can we can pretend. We can pretend that OBS just loaded it properly. And chat. Cool. That works. Now I, will, now I will never miss anything in chat ever again. No, that's a lie. Whoa. We're all chat men. Chat men, chat men, 
cha 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 and does anyone watch uh Jay Foreman? Just me? Okay. Oh yeah. I mean if you haven't ever, if you've never watched Jay Foreman before, I envy you because you have a lot of Jay Foreman to watch. Not me. I've already watched all the Jay Foreman, so there's nothing left for me. The only reason I continue living is because maybe Jay Foreman will upload more things <laughs> in the future. That's it. That's the only reason that I that I still want to exist in this world. Def definitely. Maybe we just make that garden in there too. I don't know. I like the idea of it just being like a messy little like. This is part of the floor. This is part of the building. Cool. Uh, I suppose we should grab a bunch of this stuff. <laughs> well, this, we don't need all this floating junk anymore, do we? Oh, that's part of that. Let's get rid of it all. Let's go into plants, favorites, not search for mulch, not search for DW. Elephant grass, always good. Good way to like cover a bunch of ground. Should we just like fill this whole area with a bunch of elephant grass? Mm -hmm. See, you've stopped making disgusting jokes now. So... <laughs> now. Now that you know I can see it, you're not making fun of me anymore. Your disgusting jokes? Is that it? I can take it. that would be the case. seen the new uh the new Poirot thing <laughs> I was talking about that at some point wasn't I everyone's probably saying ah oh, you idiot how could you have enjoyed that that was the worst movie I've ever seen in my life is that what you were saying I assume so now I can just m make up what you were saying believe my own lies It's actually fine for it to stick out over here. Because we want a bunch of like garden over here too. I'm a genius by accident. Uh yellow is so so good. You haven't seen it. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not amazing. I mean, if you're only going to see one movie this month or something, I wouldn't pick that one as the one you watch. But if you're going to see lots of movies and you're like, eh, I'll watch any old thing as long as it's <laughs> good enough, then yeah, that's one for you. It's good enough. It's my glowing review a bit. Good, good enough. I don't mind a little bit of extra push. <laughs> That's right. Uh, 
das Leben ist frisch. Mhm. Oh. 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 In a weird way. This one has to go up. We gotta raise this raise this wood. <laughs> we don't want the wood to be too big. Yeah, that's alright. We're gonna need some like bushes to cover those bits. <laughs> those bits look a bit weird. There's a good bushy bush. Oh, we can just get some light. Ooh. Banana farm. Bum, bum, ba -da -ba -dum. Ding, 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 ding. Banana farm. I feel like I've put... It's like being a fool to put down all this stuff then if I'm going to cover it all up, so maybe I'll delete some of this. So we're not having all these bits that you can't even see. Uh, where was it? Bamboo. Oh yeah, this is a good one. I like the fountain bamboo. It's like... I never really use it as a full bamboo. I just use it as a bush. Uh -huh. You know how I feel about bush. I love a good bit of <laughs> good bit of bush. Let's go back to the seventies. Bush everywhere. That's that's what I'm all about. Found bamboo. Yeah, that's good. Maybe I have a little bit of a... Yeah, stick that thing out there. Maybe even push it back a little bit though. Bottom. Yeah, that's nice. Now oh, while we're here, Putting bushes and stuff in. Let's just put more bushes in. This is the Bengal bamboo, right? Yeah. Thought so. I can tell my bamboos apart, you know. I'm a man who's looked at a lot of bush and he can <laughs> tell, tell the difference between different kinds of bush. Better than fun. Oh, elephanti. Elephanto. Rats. Elephant and grass in here. I feel bad for the otters. Just being completely ignoring their part of the habitat. You forgot about banana phone. How blessed you are now to have been reminded of it then. Banana phone. What? What? I got my hunches. It grows in bunches. I'm gonna have that stuck in my head for like the rest of the day now. All it takes is to think about it for a second. You just watched it. Nice. Well, now you're going to have it stuck in your head all day, too. Which, honestly, probably, like, best case scenario. Should we, should we do it? Should we use the forbidden, the forbidden plant? We don't use that. We don't use that plant here, do we? We use the owlberry bush. No, crowberry. Crowberry, that's the one. 
The one that I always called Cowberry, and I actually read it and realized it was Crowberry. <laughs> Hmm, we need to like align to surface. No, <laughs> not like that. Oh, it's raining again. Ooh, using the control. That's a smart one to do. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Get that, get that cowberry in there. I'm going to keep calling it cowberry. Cowberry is a funnier name than crowberry. I mean, crows are just cool, but cows. Cows are funny. That's all nice and overgrown. I think we need a couple of the... Isn't it like... Yes. Do we need to like use the... Is that it? Um, oh, forget my alt codes for... The C. C Sedilla. Is that it? No. What's the alt code for C? C Sedilla. That's TM. C Sedilla alt code. It starts with A, so it should be like near the top. It's like something palm. It's probably Acai palm. What is it? It's like, oh, one, two, three, no, oh, one, two, one. That's not it. Oh, one, two, two, one. Oh, one, two, two, oh. Right. Oh, one, two, three, one. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, ah, that's it. Oh, two, three, one. C. Sedilla. That's the old code for C. Sedilla. <laughs> you might find it eventually. Well, I didn't know that, but I hoped. My hopes paid off. And yeah, let, let's get the bigger in. So you know, you can you can take that from the stream. You, in case you didn't know the alt code for C Sedilla, now you do. Educational. Or maybe you've got like a keyboard that just lets you input C Sedilla easily without having to memorize codes. I reckon it's cool to be able to put in with the old code. People are like, whoa, you can remember numbers? What kind of loser are you? It's, it's alright, I don't remember any useful numbers. Except, well, yeah, I only remember useful numbers. I don't remember dates or I was already terrible at history because I suck at remembering dates. But uh remembering uh remembering alt codes on your keyboard. That has value. Yeah, you know, if you're like me and you often need to use accents and like M dashes and stuff, the M dash is a good one. That's O one five O. Wait, no, that's the N dash, and the N dash is O one five one. So you know, more education for you. I'm sharing all of my, uh, all of my amazing knowledge. Let's put some of these guys in here. I don't really work with the elephant glass so much. Oh, the Australian firms. I forgot about these guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Who needs a mouse in here? Is randoming still good? We are. That's definitely that's garden in there. We need to start figuring out how we're going to put garden on top of this. I don't know. Which, we need something nice and low, like the crowberry bush. Oh, crowberry actually could be real good here. Let's just like chuck a bunch of proberry on here. We're already we're already in random rotation. Perfect. I love my job feeding the crocodiles at the zoo. Yeah. Do we pay these people anything? I mean, we don't even have money because we're in sandbox mode. So I guess they just do it out of the goodness of their own hearts. They just love feeding crocodiles that much. I think we might want to like mix in some Dutchman's breeches or something in here. Get a little bit of like farage going on. Ooh, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't know, maybe it should have been what I wanted to do. Yeah. I quite like it having like a little bit that's up slightly higher than the rest. So like bits of it really overgrown. Yeah. This bit here sticking out too much like that. <laughs> Dutchman's breaches. That's good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is good work. This is going to look from like underneath. Perfectly fine. Nice. I just need to like copy over a bunch of this, don't I? But not the. This is uh, something I should have thought about. How are we going <laughs> to copy a whole bunch of this? Wow. Just scared for a second there. Just copy over whatever I got there. And then add back in what okay, it turns out it's just the the cowberry, not the crowberry. No, the crowberry, not the cow. See now I'm remembering and misremembering the correction. <laughs> like I know it's not one of those and it is the other one. Which who knows? Yeah, that's good. And some more 
Dutchman's breaches. some Diablo. Nice. Uh, all right, yeah, catch you later if I'm still on in tea. I probably, I won't be going too late today because I've got, i got jobs. Uh, um, where is it? Yeah, yeah, I got a, I got a job to get to a little bit after two. I probably need to finish by like two thirty or so, maybe a little bit earlier. I'll try to finish at two, and then I'll end up finishing at two thirty because I'll get too into something. I'll just be like putting down bracket, and like, no, I I can't stop. I never stop putting down bracket. We'll get our usual, our usual issues that way. I don't know if I put like this down, if I... I think I like just filling it with the elephant grass. Just because it is so good for filling spaces. We just like have this kind of like stick out the edge a little bit too. It's like all overgrown. So it would be right, I assume, maybe. <laughs> I don't know much about what the backsides of zoos look like. I don't know what the front sides look like. And even then, I don't know that much about it. But I assume that it looks exactly like this. I've done a perfect job of nailing it. So this be like a little bit of people going to get some more back blueberry in there. It's the reeds too. I think we want the reeds. Maybe we want some of this like Japanese maple. Just to get the, the orange colour in there. against there. Maybe have it a bit. <laughs> Maybe we'll have it a bit too well. Is this the one I used? I think this is the one, right? Not that tall though. It's like flying up out of the ground. Oh, this clearly wasn't one of these. That's fine. Get some of this yellow junk in here too. Ah, some Dutchman's breaches. Where's the big Dutchman's breaches? This guy. Not this guy. This guy. Have a bit of continuation of what we've got up there. We need some amount of colour in here too, don't we? I think we can get that just with the... That's... That's... Oh shit. Actually, unfavorited some of the cat's tail leaves. I didn't mean to do that at all. Oh, well, cat's layer. Layer. Cat layer. It's like the princess from Furry Star Wars. I 
I didn't accidentally unfavor something, did I? I might have. It's too easy to push those uh, hearts by accident when you're a, when you're a huge dude like me. If I'm not about the accurate clicks. I got the APM, but not the accuracy. <laughs> More about uh, just, you click so much that the inaccurate clicks get cancelled out by just the the sheer volume of clicking. That's that's my strat. It's always worked for me every single time. <laughs> There we go. We got enough plants in here now. Is there just like a pile of dirt? Or like a pile of rocks or something? Like, like really small rocks? Just about dirt. But, uh, in construction things. Is there a pile of dirt in here? There's dirt blowing effects. It's a little bit underwhelming, isn't it? No, let's not use that. Power. Turn into a wooden pallet. Big wooden pallet. Here's what we want. Just want some like big old wooden pallets. Oh yeah, they can be all like random, randomly rotated. Not super random rotated, but you know. I like that they're a little bit random. Say like huge stacks of them. Maybe we have like a little buggy or something. It's definitely a little buggy in like props. Gen general props. A wheelbarrow. Now, like a wooden wheelbarrow, like it just doesn't feel right, does it? Like, you'd think a, a modern zoo would not have a wooden wheelbarrow. They would have, like, a normal metal one. A wooden wheelbarrow is, like, common elsewhere in the world. I feel like I, I've never seen one in real life. Except as kind of, like, hipstery garden decorations. Where you've got, like, a bunch of pot plants sitting in it. Let's turn off the random rotation. A couple of these guys, so slightly different colored ones. That guy was whistling the uh, Planet Zoo theme. <laughs> I like that. Oh fuck. <laughs> no! I accidentally did a stupid thing. I didn't accept the positioning of my ladder. This one be like a little further back and leaning down more. <laughs> Barely noticeable. These are the two steps, though. These are the ones. Ooh. Oh, what this. Kind of like a couple of these here on top of it now. Nah. Nah. Can't put like a little log in there though. Well, the like junk is there. Fires. 
is I have a stack of ties. Wait, that one. We put in sacks. Just have like a sack leaning up there. Uh, rope and umbrella. Some rope. It's gotta be some better too. Maybe it's like a smoky. I just went come out and sit on this. This old like. make it like a little bit a little bit brown the white so it looks like it's you know not not a brand new perfect condition chair it's just like yeah some of the some of the zookeepers just come out the back here and have a smoker they're like an esky or something that would be good like an ashtray Maybe we could give them like a little table. Feels like they wouldn't have a table. They don't need an ash tree, they can just like ash out into the ground. Ooh. Maybe some of this stuff. Turns out the ground is like actually fake. There's behind it is like concrete. This is where they they realize that they're in a simulation. Oh, we could do some of this stuff. Yeah. Just make it, make it all brown. Just make some dirt. Like we did in the car park. Maybe this one should go away. Maybe we don't need the two. We just have the two. Can't have three people on break all at once. Then the crocodiles will get hungry. like a gross little dingy dirty corner where, <laughs> where the uh, where the keepers can do their thing. We might just stick some more palm oh, trees in here too. Where's the which big one too? See, because I kind of hate this shed, right? This way you can't see the shed too much. So how you'd want it anyway. You don't want the guests seeing like some gross old shed. Uh, okay, the gate here. Yeah. How do we do a gate? And also, how do we? Cover up this bit of construction. Hmm. Hmm. me. Ah, <laughs> uh, on me. We could use more of this painted. This is painted. That's the color. That's the color. 
Okay, like this color. I think I was just doing like this. Just like a bunch of these guys. Rotation is off. We just have like some horizontal beams of, of roundness going, going up like that. This guy definitely needs to go up a little bit. Oh, there's no like fence above the gate in this bit, so we don't actually need this, but it'd look weird if it's on the other side and not on this side, right? So I guess we'll put some in anyway. You know what, maybe I just make the gate like this too. Some of this stuff. I'm not that exact one. Not the thick one. Thick round one. Ooh, maybe the thin round one. We'll have like an obvious spot in the middle where there's like a seam between them. Gonna have to have like a kick. Good idea. You know how this will work. Figured it out. Wait. Have that. That. So that's like the edge bit of it. of the door. Is that right? The plane of the door? The, the flat bit. The door bit. The bit that makes it a door and not just a post. That's probably enough, right? Yeah. In fact, we don't want the bottom one either. So that'll make it look better to not have that. Then we just copy that over this way. Do a little spin on it. And we just need to make it so they they meet. Maybe there should be a thing at the middle of it as well. I don't know. I want them to not quite meet perfectly, so you know it looks like the gate is like slightly ajar. But it's entirely a gate, so you know not not too much of a jar. Uh -huh. I didn't really laugh. I made myself smile. Yeah, I, can't, I can't lie and say that I laugh when you see on video and hear the audio that I wasn't laughing. Maybe I was laughing inside. You can't, you can't prove I wasn't. And this side is like 
And that side's a lot easier to select than this side is. This side just does not want to be selected. The bottom bits, we're happy with it. Let's just do it manually. If we grab it, oh. Mm, that was pretty much centered, doesn't it? Yeah. There was like a little bit of like weird highlighting back there, which made me think that I was somehow like selecting the wrong bit as well, but I wasn't. That looks alright, it's a little gate, right? I feel like that looks like a gate. It's good enough for me. Nice. Got our little keepers area. Now we can continue with rock viewing bits. Rocks. We need the rocks. But not the um not the dynamic ones, just the regular kind. Mm. What makes the rock tropical? Like the kind of rock you get has nothing to do with whether you're in the tropics or not. And everything to do with like the geology. Like maybe when those rocks were actually formed, wherever you were was in the tropics. <laughs> but chances are it's moved since then. What makes a rock tropical? There's a that's a question for the game devs. Why are some rocks considered tropical? Like, why is it different? Why is this color rock particularly the tropical rock color? I don't know if there could even be a good answer for that. There we go. That looks alright. Let's get some more of the uh, fountain rocky platform garden. I don't know why I made this a hill game, the garden. I did. You know what? I'm, I'm kind of cool with that. It's fine. It's our good friend. Oh, you know why we made it a garden? So it lets you select a whole bunch of these at once really easily and copy them over. At it again. We're brackening. It's brackening. Ooh, that's not the one we wanted to rotate on. No. We'll rotate on that. Actually, pretty good. Let's do that. We need a little bit more of the big down bamboo. It's like sticking out here. That's Are we on random? We're not. I don't want to be on random rotation whenever you're putting down plants, I feel. Uh, Look at this restraint we're showing, like putting down bracken and yet I'm saying words other than bracken. <laughs> Mostly saying the word bracken though. Bracken is just a good word. We will take a moment to appreciate how good of a word bracket is. Probably want to get some like clouds and stuff in there, don't we? Wow. Oh, nice. Just searching flower shows you all the plants that have flowers on them, even if they don't have flower in the name. I like that. Although, not all of them. Great. These guys 
Quite nice, aren't they? What's this? Lobster claw. <laughs> got elephant ears and lobster claws. People really like naming plants after animal parts. Just animal... Animal bias, isn't it? Well, I grow wet animals. We're gonna name all the plants after animals, too. We don't care about that kingdom of life. I kind of like the colors on this one. So they do a little ring around there. I don't know. It's a little bit weird. Maybe if we just roughen it up a little so it's not so much of a ring. Labrador tea. Oh, these are cool. Kind of grey flowers. I like that thing. Oh. Who's that? Ooh. Ooh. I'm a zoo. Dog is a zoo. Dog loves his children. Bring them to zoo. Dog may not speak like it, but dog very modern man. Dog despise stereotypes about cavemen. Dog never club woman and drag to cave. The only clubbing dog do is the kind where dog dance. Dog love Katy Perry. Talking about. <laughs> uh, it's, the, it's the flat placement. Placing plants in rocks. There's something about it. Oh. Whoa. That's pretty cool. I like that. I'm not going to put that down, but I like that. Drop the oak. Drop it. You want some, like, big old monoliths sticking up here. Like a standing stone. Um... Uh, maybe not this one. Maybe this guy. Oops. That's kind of cool. I feel like we need some other thing as well now. Uh, so it won't be a monolith, it will be a duo with two bits for the price of one. Oh yeah, yeah, it's way better as a duo with. Really like that. It looks so good. It looks like um. I, I just want to like put that somewhere else. Now that I've created it, put one over here. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down, Barry. It's just a rock. Well, it's just two rocks. Look, they're being fed properly. Ah, oh, glorious. Finally, the crocodiles are happy. I'm sure they've been getting fed properly for ages, but I finally noticed that they're being fed properly. 
Oh. Oh, pardon me. Pardon me, just yawning. Yawning away. Okay, so there are a few things we could do here. One of them is to put down the bench. So let's do that. <laughs> I think we'll get the benches and things up on this guy. Then we'll finish the garden on it. Shouldn't take too long. Um, and maybe we'll start planning out the viewing for the otters. Okay, so the otters do like to swim down here. They don't really dive much though. So well, it doesn't seem like they dive much. Yeah, there's mostly on the surface. So there's not, not much point. I was thinking, like, should we have, like, an underwater viewing area? Have, like, a tunnel go down here and, like, stick him out here or something? But doesn't seem like we would benefit much from that. Best to just view these guys from the, the surface. They're having a little bit of trouble on this, like, steep, steep bit here. I don't know why, that, why that's like the spot where they really want to get up. Also, this is like, it's way too deep, all of this. I feel like it's all like a little bit deep. They're loving the fish. So a weird sound they make. Look at them, they're like, they're like little like seals, but with legs. Cute. Which is good. They've got kind of like beepery tails too. Kind of flat. Flat tail. Oh. Oh, oh. Look at him. Wait, can we like follow him with the camera? Yeah. Cinematic. Whoa, cinematic! Didn't feel that cinematic. <laughs> we going right around. He's pulling. He's in. He's in the water. Oh, <laughs> they look like they swim like dogs. Oh, they do dive. Okay, maybe we do want like a, a spot down here or something where you can look at them from out the water. I think we kind of need one. I'm happy with this though. This is good. Like, slowly we complete more of the zoo. Soon there will be like this huge section which is all completed. I like doing bits which are next to each other. Just... It's pleasing to me. What kind of benches will we? Here. Oh, I see the, the actual path goes like under there. I want to have like a bench up against that wall, but that's not really going to work. The game will not allow that. I can have a bench here. That kind of works. Uh... Kind of. <laughs> the angle on it is a little... it's off. Wow. Let's just like... change the color on this. We want that to be more like the color of the... Yeah, we want to like match that color. This base bit, you like white. What's this bit? Oh, the metal side things. Yeah, those can stay like that bronzy kind of color. Then we'll do the same thing with this. Then we'll make it follow the same color scheme. Oh, wait. 
from the thingy that's in the black. Is that alright? Feels like that wood is wrong. Oh yeah, that's the wood color it's meant to be. I want more than one of these. But I, I need to figure out another spot where I can put one where it doesn't look stupid. Because <laughs> the game tries to like snap them to certain spots on the path. It really doesn't want me to put it anywhere sensible, does it? Like, yeah, you're not allowed to like use Z to to turn it. If you got like a big area of path, you can put it wherever you want. Or this like little area of path. Maybe we just put it opposite this one. Over here. Then chuck this guy over in the corner or something instead. Like... <laughs> it's nowhere good for this guy, is there? Well, we're allowed to position this guy how we want him, over here, but not there. I'd really like it in that corner. But the closest we can get is here. We want it to be lined up with the other stuff. Maybe over here is better. We could put like a little umbrella or something in there. That could do it. Um, umbrella. Really? No, there's definitely a better umbrella than that. I've seen it. There's like, um,. I guess it's in props? Theme props? Maybe? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, canopy. Maybe it's under canopy. Jade. Oh. Oh. Happeny. That might be. Mm. Stick some of this stuff in. It's not really what I was thinking of, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Should probably make it part of this. Okay. No, not skate. Shade. <laughs> Diving hard. Maybe just like something like this. Just a couple of a couple of these or these guys. It's my uh, lion. Okay, that that's too that's too short. Lion's head's poking through. We know we know that Mr. Lion is about the same height as a person. So we can have like a couple of those little bracket things. This. Ooh. 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 
Ooh. I like this one. It's way too tall. But it's kind of cool. These are also pretty cool. But, um, not for this area. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Game just like slowing down a bit there. Scaring me. I did not mean to press escape there. It's a bit silly of me. What if? You feel right. And then we just have another one of these. Save the This. Ooh. I feel like it matches up too well like that. It's kind of like aiming for it not to be so such a perfect match. Dun, 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 dun. We need to get the little bits to hold in there. Oh yeah, and I was thinking, right, it's this bit. This bit was part of the wrong group. I think, yeah, because I put it on the floor, it became part of the floor, if that makes sense. But uh, we need more of these guys. And what if, like, just have some of these poking out from the walls. Uh, oh, <laughs> wrong, uh, wrong axis to be trying to move it on. What have I done? <laughs> oh no, I've lost it. It's like, it's, it's somewhere. There it is. <laughs> Let's... <laughs> Let's put it into position roughly first, and then we'll do the rotates on it, so we don't lose it like that. I mean, I suppose I could just have the same thing, right, in the corners. Yeah, let's let's do that. Is that perfectly in the middle of that thing? Seems pretty much that way. It just needs to. Yeah. Let's... But we just want to like chuck some of these in the other corners. I was thinking of having it like stick out from the wall, but. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, you got it next to the wall, you probably want it on the wall. You've got brackets. Okay. Just thinking of using this little guy just to hold it on. The side, the side's nowhere near close enough. Give me one. Oh no! No! There's no axis which makes this easy. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, that's clear. Is this good? No, but it can't be. Give me red. Okay, maybe it's coming out slightly. I shouldn't have done that little rotate on it, should I? Go into T mode so that my uh, memory is not trolling me like this. <laughs> oh man. It's not particularly easy to get these things lined up. But we're gonna do it. I think this will work. I think with the other one it'll be easier because there'll only be one of these like really small ones on the wall. You know what? It's probably fine. Stop. It's not fine. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. That looks like good enough. Look how little we moved it, <laughs> considering where this was. I suppose this should also be like those, right? It should be... Oh, oh. We could have... We'll have like little, the little like brackets on the side of this, because apparently I hate myself and I want to make it, my life really hard. <laughs> Maybe you could have just the ring. I suppose I could replace this like holdy uppy bit here with. Uh, the ring is like too short. Is there like a single chain link we can use? Oh, there's. Oh, that's a huge thing. No thanks. I guess all these chains are big. So, like, link. Ring. There's some things called ring, but none of them is really what I want. Uh, circle. <laughs> none of these is really what I want either. What about in here? It's like <laughs> we go in 3D text. 3D. It might be like a little full stop or something which will work for us. A little dot. Oh, it's a huge full stop. Do you know I have like a small one? Pretty large. Is a pretty small? There it is. It's a bit faster. Because it's full stop. Full stop. That's too, it's still too big. Is anything in here small enough? No, they're all going to be huge, aren't they? The game doesn't really have pieces as small as I'm hoping it, it would have. This kind of level of detail, you're not meant to be doing this level of detail. Oh, crap. The thing is stuck inside it, I can't select it. Yeah. Okay, let's just... 
move this so it's like like it was like that. Yes. These guys, like here. Because we've only got one of those. It would be easy enough to line this up with it. Also, still not that easy because of the the axes. Good enough. We're not going to be looking at that in so much detail that that's obvious. Now I do want something that like sticks out from this and holds them up. What was that other bracket? There's another light, there's like this guy. That could be really good here. Yeah, what if like we use that? We have this thing in the middle of it. It's not quite in the middle. We'll say. Go back in T mode. <laughs> we need very fine movements of the camera. So it's pointless lining that whole thing up. I suppose it should be a little bit like this. the detail, the level of detail, the silly level of detail. It's always worth it in the end. It seems, it seems ridiculous, right, to be so concerned about such minor things. But you notice, it's, it's in those little details that are uh, We come to greatness. <laughs> I don't know. Planet Zoo greatness. It's all about having that little extra bit of patience to get it just right. And is it worth it? Maybe. Stick another one of these guys over here. Let's copy it the smarter way with this thing so it stays on the right horizontal plane. This bit can be spun around. Because the next one of these, it's going to be like this. So let's do it this way. I want it like 
this. So like two sides are attached to the wall. And only one side is sticking out here. Oh no. That's not gonna work. What about if we do it this way? But it might. Oh yeah, that will work. Two sides attached to the wall. One side out here. This, this has to go out that way then. Let's just worry about getting this guy aligned and then that should be okay. I think we got room for the little rings. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> That's fine. Just need to do some rotating. Inside the wall anywhere? No, it's okay. That's fine. It doesn't need to be perfect. You know, I was just saying how much it needs to be perfect. <laughs> I've changed my mind. Where I do not change it further. There we go. Now we got a little bit of like. Cheating, yeah. I'm gonna change this. Maybe make it like a little bit of a like rusty echo. So like fits with that a little bit better. I mean the white. The white can be like grayer. good. That's a little bit of detail there. I don't even want to look like pot plant here. Are there any pot plants? Pot. There are pots. Hmm. Many of them are not big enough to fit a plant in though. Most of them are not big enough to fit a plant in. This one you can fit a plant in. This one you can fit a plant in. It's a very small pot. What about in nature? There might be in like the gardening section pot. Oh, it'll be like under planter, right? Yeah. Tree. Put a tree or bush or something on top of it. We just do that. Yeah, I, don't, I don't like the color of this, so we can't change it. Bugger. Let's get a different planter. Planter. 
put the got the letter, the right letters there in the wrong order. Uh, let's use this one. We don't need to change the color of this one. There. A couple of little plants in there. It's nice. We need to finish up the gardens as well. We're already in nature. Perfect spot. Let's get some more of these alpine currents in. It's one of the things that we need. We don't want our life surface. I think we do want random rotation. Wait, what? Maybe we didn't want the random rotation. We need to place this way so that we don't accidentally put them on the wrong it's part of the wrong building. Jeez. <laughs> wake me up. Feeling like sneaky sneeze coming out of nowhere. Okay, I want some of the like the little little babby boys. Stick some like alpine sea holly in there, that kind of thing. God, maybe the that one. Let's put on there. Oh yeah, the the body line, body line, body line, body line. Whatever, same thing. Uh, I guess we'll put some of the golden rods in. Everyone likes a cute golden rod. They don't look particularly yellow in the shadow. That's fine. Nice. So now it's just this spot, this spot, and we need some more benches. On here. Should we use these same benches? Good thing is that up here is straight a straight surface, so we can just put them down easily. I don't think we use those benches. I think we use different ones. Maybe these ones. These kind of fit with that painted. Oh, I remember thinking that earlier. <laughs> when we were initially building this. Maybe just like standard bench. So with these guys. These guys are nice. Just 
like just splash some of these along the end. I'm trying to make them evenly ish spaced. And we stick a bin in there. This one goes with those, right? I don't know. Probably makes sense to put like bin over there, a bin over here. So we build more benches. So we have. Maybe we build a couple benches like over here. Like over here. So people can sit on a bench and look at the. Well, you can't really see the crocodiles too well from the bench, but you know, often you're with someone who gets tired easily or something. You know, you're with your grandma at the zoo. She so needs to like sit down, rest her legs. Good to have a bench right by the crocodiles. So it's. Kids can look at the crocodiles and grandma can have a have a sit down. First we need some garden plants to look me. Where is going on me? Where is the shadows tree in the shed? I think we want to have like a couple of these formation sides, right? Maybe one like right here. Right in the very middle. <laughs> we won't put it there. You don't want to obscure the view of the animals with a big TV screen. Put one here. I kind of want it to be. Lower. Oh, I was hoping those feet could be pulled off. Maybe lower. Um, facilities. They're like a smaller habitat information board. Not really. Let's just put this one in. Whoa, why is it why is it floating up? Let's just put that like that. Contact saltwater crocodile. So people can learn about saltwater crocodile. And then look at it. And then look on the screen at it. So in case all the crocodiles are like over here or something, you can't see them. You can look on the screen, you still know what one looks like. Oh, who's this guy? Uh, oh, he's the vet. Oh, I guess he's allowed to come in. Into the backstage. It's okay. I thought he was like a guest or something. <laughs> he looks different to the keepers who are usually the ones walking in there. I think that's enough detail on the top of that. We don't need too much going on up there. It's like a smallish area. We just need some like some like some of this stuff. Maybe not the huge one, just the medium one. Place this in a way that it doesn't look too much. I'm not like super worried about it clipping a little bit. It's, you know, don't want it clipping a lot bit. <laughs> we're not we're not gonna be able to select the other one, are we? Hey, there's no way you'll be able to select both of them. Oh unless we do it like this. We get like the right angle. There we go. Smart. Oh yeah, this is like slightly higher. Or is it? 
I don't know if it even is. I guess it must be. It's crazy. Do we want like action trees on there? I was thinking we wanted to put some of those. Um... Acai palms on here. I think we do. Okay. Sink them down a lot though, so they're not sticking out too much. That's kind of nice, right? Yeah, maybe not. Maybe it's better to not have the, uh, the palms on those top ones. Probably better to have the palms like down in these lower areas. Crazy palms. They're not that crazy, are they? <laughs> oh, you mad, these palms. They're just, they're insane. Look at them. Whoa. Crazy palms. That was, uh, that's me being silly. How could a palm even be crazy? I guess a palm could be crazy if it was like growing like like, like jaggedy or something. If it like grew up like this and then like straight across at a right angle, that would be pretty crazy. But I don't, I don't think these, these ones are that crazy. Anyway, what do we want to have also up here? Yellow? I think it's like the yellow is too overwhelming like that. Yeah. We are branding it. It's also quite overwhelming, maybe. Maybe I should duck that under a little more. And. Uh, what is this? Oh, that one. This one? I flip a little bit. Hmm, it's alright. Yeah, that looks alright. Just a little bit of like colourful bushy stuff coming out. Ugh. That's the sigh of a, a job well done. A crocodile viewing platform well made. Ah oh, look, they were like done in a little eat. Oh, why food? None for you. Plenty of food to go around. I, I, Adiadja, Adiadja. Let's change his name. Oh. I can say that much easier than Adiadja. <laughs> you never know when you know when you don't know what language the words come from. You never know whether the J is going to be a Y or a J sound. Right? Or maybe even like a. Like the Spanish one, which I can't do at all. Yeah, something like that. Is that it? Yeah. Alef, Andro. <laughs> like that sound. And that looks pretty low. Can these otters jump over that? I guess. I guess not. Or they would have escaped by now. Should we start work on the watermill for the otters? Oh, uh, maybe we should like. 
maybe we should plan out where the uh, paths and stuff are before I start messing around with that. So we want a spot in here where they can look at the otters underwater and like the spot that makes the most sense is around here. Where it's already very like that. Now, I'm gonna have to pause it. So we're gonna delete that water. They're gonna be sad. I should also use this opportunity to plant the foundation up a little bit. Work out, I was hoping. You know, it, should, it, it doesn't need to be that deep. Eh? See, it seems a little bit too deep. It looks fine when you're just looking around out of context with no animals in there. But once you see the size of the giant otters next to the <laughs> 10 meter deep, 20 meter deep water, it uh, it's oh, no. rough enough a little bit. We can have a spot where it's like quite deep. Over here where it like meets that other deep area. But mostly I want it a little bit flatter. A little bit shallower. Okay, so now we want to get like precise in here. Maybe not that precise because it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna try to figure out a way to do this with a tunnel. But I don't know if it will work. Ooh, hexagon squares. A light grid. We don't have a grid to a light too. Oh, Tunneling. There we go. Oh no, that's not where we go. Maybe it needs to be lower to. lower it a bit more. Maybe this is not how tunnels are meant to work in the game. It's, it's not going to like me doing this at all. Oh, you know what we could do? This. We are going to have to make like a, a barrier as well. Where's my lion statue? Check the heights of this thing. Can we zoom more? Yep. Oh yeah, that's plenty of height. Great. Good work, lion. Try you for, for now. I think how we're gonna like work with the ceiling. Oh. I don't really know how deep I've gone there either. It looks like deep enough if the line is out here, so is that like opened up? a hole to ex expose the little like tunnel we've made. Seems so. Do... What was this guy? Get out of there. Maybe we can make it like a little cenote. Uh, 
that's uh I think that's how it's pronounced. Or is it a C note? I don't think it's C note. A sinkhole basically. Have like some like stairs going around the edge of a sinkhole. Is the entrance to this place and have it be like more of a natural cave. That might be kind of cool. It also might just not work at all. Oh, okay, let's turn off tunneling. We need like flat terrain on. Oh no. That's not gonna work. Yes, we need it to be lower. Or oh, the game won't let us put a path in there. That will surely be low enough. That if this isn't low enough, I don't think the game is going to allow it at all for what I want to do here. The cave. The cave of truth. Whatever. Cave of wonders and treasure and uh, uh oh here we go. It's allowing it. So that's low enough now. Let's get free out of this. Oh yeah. Of <laughs> We get a grid that isn't aligned that way. We like. What if we do a non squared edge grid? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I don't think this would be fine like this. Also, I've decided to like give myself another like. <laughs> Difficult challenge, haven't I? Probably want the stairs in here. You uh, <laughs> select red, just do this on like. Right. How wide is that? Eight. And we'll snap, continue. Because we just want to make sure there's enough of that. But need it longer. I think I need to just get rid of that terrain in there. The game's not going to automatically do it for me. We'll cover the stuff or something. How's that? How is that? <laughs> Who knows? No. Game. Please. Okay. <laughs> what? I guess we haven't removed enough terrain. Let's just flatten it all down to the lowest level then there's no way this terrain can be in the way. Except right there it could be. Okay, we'll get rid of a bit of path. Flatten more terrain out. So this bit of path will have to be just like floating. It's fun, it's fun like making whole new areas. But don't do that. No flattened terrain. Yes, be flat. Uh, uh, I don't 
to being too uneven. It's just, just do the thing. Just do it. Do it. Do it. We need to get rid of all the terrain and then it will realize it needs to be a floating path. There we go. And then this can link up to it somehow. Kept it. <laughs> somehow. So what's going on here? We have too much terrain around still, I suppose. It's like somehow this terrain, which is nowhere near where I'm trying to build it, is interfering in some way. Maybe. Maybe it's just because the path system in this game is not great. It's the wrong slope. Good God. I'm making a huge mess of it all. Let's get our grid back here. Great, now that's all like. What? Why is this all going weird? <laughs> yeah. We need to put it on flat and terrain very quickly. all the way along there. And we'll snap this. Deselect grid. Don't don't be like in the sky. Just, why does it wanna like why does it wanna do it like that? Why does it wanna stop it halfway along? Why is this game like this with paths and terrain? <laughs> I wish it was easier to make a straight edge as well. It's really not when the only tools you have are circles. We're gonna like, try to get the train perfect. Maybe like this path underneath that terrain is causing it to not be allowed to be removed? Yeah. But for whatever reason. Let me just go with it. terrain like that. This bit here can just be ignored for now maybe. Just push it back a bit more so it's definitely not going to be in the way of the path. It's a long way away from the path right now. 
don't see how that could possibly be in the way of the path. You know, what would I know, right? Obstructed by what? Fine. He has to make a little wedge there for that to work. Um, Excellent. Good gun. Because it's like the game insists on splitting this piece of path here into like two bits. Now it wants to that. <laughs> Why? Why? Why are you trying to do this path game? What? Bye. Bye. Fine. We will have a cur curvy path going up from here. Wait, how can I even make it curvy? I definitely can make it curvy, right? You can't make an angled path curvy. Uh, not an angle. You know what I mean. It seems that you can't make a path that goes like up. Also curve. I, I can't make it a ramp and a curve. Or stairs and a curve. Uh, let's, let's try something else. Please, please me. Please let me do something there. Man, the game really doesn't want me to build anything there. How, how far do I need to push this guy for it to let me build something? It just won't. But that's an 8 meter gap there, so it should. Close enough. <laughs> Please, uh, game. I wish this game had like um, the roller coaster tycoon path making system. <laughs> that was a good way of making paths. And that game is like a million years old now, so if they could do it right in that game a million years ago, I don't know I don't know why this game is so bad at it. If they ever make a Planet Zoo 2 and it has the same part system, I would be very upset with the studio for that. What are we doing? thing has got to go. We can't select this as a grid. Oh, we can. They're not really. 
terrain modification failed. There we go. Like the two heights of path refuse to join with each other. Oh, here we go. <laughs> we could get the path to actually join to the other part of the path. That's a great start. I don't want to ruin this path completely though. I want this path to still be good. And just to pass over the top of this old thing. Like it's not there. Can we like, you know what, that's fine. Although this is going to be unremovable, right? <laughs> We're going to have to delete that and like bring it back. Let's get rid of some more, some more terrain. <laughs> We're almost there. It's doable. We can make the path. Uh, sad. There's <laughs> a length problem. That's a bit problem. You know what, that's fine. That that's fine. <laughs> we can work with that. It's not how I wanted it. But it's good enough. We can get rid of all of that. Maybe we can even fix up this so it's not all floating here. But I don't know if it's worth it is it's worth trying. We'll see how much of this terrain we can just bring back to normal. So I should make it short for us. And also, <laughs> also use the sculpting. <laughs> why does it do it like that? Why? Why, why does it make it like... This weird jagged overhangy thing. <laughs> if we're gonna have to build a whole bunch of stuff that kind of covers up all of this ugliness here. I think I think we should be able to like put all this terrain back here too. If not, we can waste control Z and get the broken path back. Stupid, dumb, like worst path in the world path back. Don't do that. Don't flatten terrain, don't tunnel. You don't need to. Oh. Ah. <laughs> flatten terrain. Okay, and now flat terrain on, angle snap off. Just like get this to be not not there. Okay, get rid of that bit. Get this to like link up. Whoa. Get, it, get, get this to link up. Get. There. What? <laughs> now, now what have you done, game?
Oh my lord. We're getting there. It's, we're gonna get it to work. One way or another. I'm gonna do it. Maybe if we just... Get rid of that. Do like... The world's longest... I might do a staircase from here. Why is it <laughs> oh. what if like will this just link up to kind of for a second it will there's like a way. It looks kind of dumb. Okay, that actually doesn't look too dumb at all. It's just a staircase, and then here it's a ramp. But that's fine. We'll cover all of that up anyway. We'll put our own... We'll use like little blocks or something to make our own stairs for this, this thing. All of this will get covered up. I think we've finally made the uh, the thing work. Now we need a barrier in here. We need a... Uh, glass. A glass barrier in here. Maybe we need the one-way glass. Not going that way though. Going that way. We don't want the animals to see that there's people in there, like, looking at them, rubbing on them. That's, <laughs> that's definitely not. Dude! To like set this barrier to not be a, uh, a habitat barrier. Uh, habitat perimeter? No. Oh, you can change which side is one way. Uh, I think otherwise we're fine. Oh, we can change the post color. Let's make it black. Okay, nice. So we got our one-way glass where you can look in at where the thingies are. Oh my god, how has that taken so long? <laughs> I just look over at the time, I'm like, uh... Also, that's not right. This needs to be a bit higher. Uh, we want this to be snapping to 90 degree angle oh, where it was. That's not 90 degrees. That's not 90 degrees at all. Uh, I'm gonna move the whole thing. We rotate the whole thing. 
No. <laughs> that is forbidden. Let's just start again with it. Let's see. the whole thing up a little bit. Yeah, nice. Let's just change these to black again. Make sure it's not set as a habitat for a reserve. There you go. I told you to be black. I need to like change each post individually. Uh, it shouldn't really matter for this post because you won't be able to see it. It's only the middle post you'll be able to see. Yeah, nice. Uh, I think I do want to make it like a bit natural cavey, but I'm not sure. We'll probably only make like just the end of it like a natural cave, so it'll be like just concrete walls going up to there and then. At the end of it, an actual cave. That would be figure out some more, more rock here. So we should be able to put that water back in. Valid. That's what I like to hear. Is that right? Is that how it was? I guess it must have been. We had like the two little pools. Yeah, and there's this little spot where they like to splash through. And now, zoom underwater. I mean, that's a little bit of a mess, isn't it? <laughs> we'll put, oh, we'll put like a little feedy thing, a water feeder down here. We uh, sink it into the ground a bit so it doesn't look so stupid. Can we change the color of it? Oh, we can. Let's make it like. The color of the ground. Something. Yeah, that kind of works. Oh, you can't change the color of that tube bit. That's like the one bit that I can't sink underground. I suppose we need to have the whole thing. How do they... how do they fill it? Oh, is that the bit where they fill it? Yeah, there needs to be some way for them to fill it, doesn't there? So maybe it like sits up here and they fill it up. Ground level. And then... I have no idea how this thing works. Feet are not deep enough, so it does need to be in the water. Deep not deep enough. They need to have like that bit sticking out. Deep not deep enough. Okay, so it needs to be like all underwater. And all the way up water. Now now it's ready. I suppose like they can swim? Can the keepers swim? They must be able to fill this. We'll have to see it working to know how we're meant to, uh, let's call the keeper to come fill it up, see what happens. Is all this connected again? No, that part's not. Need to reconnect that. There we go. That's not necessarily where the connection will be. I think we might, might pretty this up a little bit, just, just like a tiny bit. Oh, that's just a bunch of floating fish. From the angle I was looking at it. Oh, so the otters have been boxed up because we changed things. But they're back. 
pigs struggling a little bit. Alright, where's our keeper? They should come through here and fill up the... Did they... Wait, did they already do it? Feed already. There's no food in it. Keeper urgently aside. Where is this keeper? Oh, they're getting the food. Oh, cool, we can see him in there. Getting the food ready. Like, you don't need to chop the fish into tiny little cubes. I think you can just... <laughs> They're otters. They're used to just eating whole fish. Here's one she prepared earlier. Let's see how she does it. She runs. Is she gonna jump in? No. She's just dropping it right on the ground. Does that teleport to down here? It does, uh, apparently. <laughs> There's now 18 kilograms of food in here. So I, I suppose that just works. And now I want to see how the otters actually eat from it. Oh man, this is going to be a great view. Once we've got all like rocks and stuff in here, maybe we can do a little shipwreck. Actually, I want to do. Or like something ruins or something. No, maybe a shipwreck in here would do something ruins in the crocodile one. This crocodile one's all jungly. Although this one could also be jungly. But this one's deeper. Those smash my microphone. Smart. They're not even eating from it. They were swimming around though, so maybe we don't need this thing. Maybe there's like some kind of underwater play thing we can put in for them. But, uh, Enrichment items or items. Block of ice, bubble machine. Obstructed. I guess it can't be too near to that. Do they play with this? Go on, come enrich yourself with the bubble machine. Sprinkler. Oh, we don't need that. Water chair. Can this put it underwater? Yeah. No, I don't want DS. I want Otter. Small ball. Small ball. Colourful. Honestly, I, I wouldn't say this one's any more colourful than this one. <laughs> A hundred bucks! Like, oh, it, it does levitate. Okay, fair enough. I thought it was like a hundred bucks for a beach ball, but it's a levitating beach ball. That's pretty cool. I'd pay a hundred bucks for a levitating ball. Or a levitating rubber duck. Probably I'd go for the rubber duck. Oh, a levitating ice cube. That's pretty cool. I'd love to have one of those, like in the, the lobby of my evil lair. Like, carve out a shape of the world on it. One of those levitating, like, rotating world spheres that super villains always have in their lairs. You can make a cool super villain lair in this game, actually. None of the otters want to play with the bubble machine, or the feeder. We'll figure out if there is, like, a machine that they want to play with later. Oh, people are already coming to see him. People are loving the, like, <laughs> the giant hole in the ground. Like, oh. I mean, it is already a great view out there. If there were any otters. <laughs> They're just like pulling bases at each other. <laughs> They're not even interested in the otters. Alright, we've done our bases. There's not a coming in. They're leaving. They had their fun. Just checking the text messages. Yeah, that's good. I think you were doing over here. <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, look at that. Look at that rock wall. Yeah. That's exciting. <laughs> well, it's nice to see all the people coming down here and it's working fine. But, yeah, that's good. People up here at all? No one likes to come up here. Ah, oh, some, someone's up here. It seems everyone in the zoo wants to go to see the new thing as soon as it's put down. Yeah, look, there's no one else in the zoo. They've all gone. They've all gone to the new... Otter feeding area. Or otter, 
or to view it. At this point, I've got enough like stuff going on in the zoo. Maybe we should increase the number of guests. Right? Really? Did put it down at the very lowest it could possibly go. But well, whatever. Um, I'm probably gonna. You know what? Looking at the time, uh, I was gonna start doing some more stuff in here with the otters. Getting their old. Um, getting. What was I gonna make? A water wheel thing. Water wheel. This thing will have. It's like the spot that water comes out of. Or something. <laughs> it's weird all these bits exist and there's no actual flowing water in the game. So we don't want like it to actually be flowing. So it will look weird when none of the water is flowing if the wheel is spinning. <laughs> We want like a kind of derelict water wheel here. Yeah. It's like sitting out here. Maybe once upon a time this lake was a river. Well obviously not. It's a zoo. <laughs> the man made lake. Well we pretend. Oh that look. Also, can you see it in here? Jeez, the entire like guest population in the zoo just come down here. Oh yeah, you can see it in the background. Yeah, that'd be cool. So we have our water wheel here. And uh, how do I make this into a group? I can edit the name of it. Oh, Misfit Motors, welcome back. You're just in time for... Oh, and a raid. Nice. Welcome. Welcome to the uh, Misfit Motors party of one. There was three. <laughs> they they heard. You told them where you were bringing them. What? Barry Lime? No way. Ah. Is there like an axle? It doesn't work with either way it's showing it. It's East Asian, so yeah, I guess it's in the East Asian if there is an accent for it. Right. East Asia? Uh, uh, column? Column oh, large? I think it's one of those. Maybe one of these guys. Doesn't really fit with it. <laughs> oh, this is the right color. Asian Water Wheel Spa. Well, no wonder it's the right color. Don't we need like a big brown thing in your face? Yeah, spry. I have to look at some pictures of water wheels or something. <laughs> I don't know if we'll end up doing the water wheel. Maybe we'll have the water wheel there at like a castle on the hill or something. But I want to do some kind of East Asian style thing. So like a look at that. It's the pre built house. It's an interesting interesting looking one, isn't it? Oh, look at that. It's a very small house. Ooh, shrine. This temple. Like a big old temple up in the gate. It's a very like Chinese style gate. The one night you had eight viewers. And I signed off like right before. <laughs> Right before you did. Oh. Yeah. Um, so, sorry. Did 
could be some of these guys. I think we want to have like probably have it be like a ruined fossil. So we can have some like games like every now and then just like freezes. So we can have like some bull and stones sitting like sitting out here in the, in the water. Make some like stuff growing on them. Probably needs to You know, that kind of thing. It needs to be like in the water a little like in the ground a little bit so it looks like silt is built up around it. Trying to get those bits enabled. Oh yeah, yeah, that would be good to do that. Thank you. Thanks for the, the help doing that. God knows I need it. Ooh. Dragon claw. Safe for the edges of roofs. What else have we got? Oh. There's some kind of cool, like, pre-built stuff, isn't there? Like, if you... You couldn't be bothered doing all this yourself. The game has plenty of bits in there. Oh, this actually has water in it. Nice. Bridge. Man, there's some great stuff. One stone. Basket. <laughs> That's interesting there. How grand you that? Fence. The recolorable fence. This fence. Also recolorable. Oh. So it's just like. Yeah, recolors the whole thing. Nice. Bunch of like. Things, signs, some like lapwings and things. Um, what's in here? Cool star, cool star, some like Oh, yeah, these will be great for doing a castle up on here. Then we like select these things, merge into group. There we go. So now we've got like a group button. We've got a. Uh, yeah, these can't be. Um, recolored. That's the word. What if we like we go for like some of this buttress base? Rice to we still got uh, the I think we have like random rot rotation, right? Yeah, we do. East Asia Sorry. Such that, that should get us a little bit Oh I see, this is like a grid piece Oops. It's got the right shape to it Right, kinda, mostly Looks like it would fit in here no, like we can these bits which are which are good non-grid pieces we can uh can be more precise with if 
the whole thing lined up. It's pretty well lined up, isn't it? I have to do something on the top. With these panels or something like that. Just have some like wood decorations, that kind of thing. I don't know. Some of these guys. What if we do let's stick some of those? Very aware of the time right now. <laughs> but uh like usual. Getting get like too into what I'm doing. Oh, what if we did this though? Like what if we We just have like one of these guys to make like a lip for this thing. Then then we can kiss it. We can kiss our castle. too bad. That's like a base of the castle. Obviously like we'll get more bits down here as well. Maybe. Might need to put all these down. Like you just really put them down like tell them they tell them they're really ugly and they <laughs> don't like them. That's right. Little wall pieces. That kind of works. Nice. Very nice. We'll put some more little rocks in like bits of plants. And actually, I think we might get bracken. Why well, elephant fruits? Where's the old elephant or grass? Here it is. What if we like stick some elephant grass in there? Oh, it's not. It's not randomly rotated. That's right, though. We can manually rotate it. We have the technology. Obviously, there'd be a lot more than this. I mean, in this last like couple minutes of the stream, just <laughs> got to give myself an idea of how this could look. We want it to. To do some like good work and make it look good. Very oh, yeah, well wrong. Uh -huh. I don't know if we'll have like full on castle on top of that. Thinking more maybe a shrine or something. Just having like something like kind of lower down the shrine there, so you can still have the uh, greenery behind it visible. And obviously, it's a pretty small area. It's not going to be a full on castle or anything. I should be a game designer. It's what they do every day. Yeah, but then they just get fired by EA or something for like downsizing, that kind of thing. Don't. And like, uh, when it comes to the crunch times and stuff, it feels like a pretty high stress job. But yeah, it would be kind of fun. Just doing this, this stuff all the time. Shice. I think this bit will need to get made out of these like non-grid pieces. I know, if I was doing this all the time as a job, maybe I would stop loving it as much. That's also possible, isn't it? Probably wouldn't. 
probably I would still like it. I'd probably like to use more of these guys. It's building is not going to be like super grid, grid based. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit, uh, a bit crazy. I don't want to look at the time because I know. <laughs> I know without looking that too much time has passed. I should uh, I should be stopping, but I don't want it. <laughs> I don't wanna. I think we're gonna need to do the ground out of like something else, like a panel. Is that a panel? There's a panel. Da, 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 da. Why don't I just like put on a top made of this stuff? Not like literally a top made of this stuff. Imagine wearing a top made out of sh stone. <laughs> I don't know why I became Sean Connery briefly. Like a, a stone shirt. Get pretty, uh, get, get pretty buff pretty quick on that one. Yeah. Around an entire shirt made of stone. Oh, you would just s severely damage your back and be <laughs> injured for life. What? Well, one of the two. Maybe both. You might get that buff and also terribly injure yourself. Not all of this will necessarily like stay like this, so I'm not super fussed about exactly how like perfectly it tiles, which isn't perfectly at all. It's more of a let's have a like general idea of how this might look if it just has like a flat top at this level. Da. Wait. Wait. There we go. Basically. Slightly different curve. Sure, that's fine. Just for the general idea of it all. We want this to be. More of the thing. More of this, right? Hello. 
Maybe we just have to sit on top of some... Oh, not even long flat space. Maybe we'll have to sit on top of some rocks and stuff down at this level. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's actually kind of alright, isn't it? Yeah, we'll use the big ones of these. Oh crap, it's seven fast. <laughs> Why does time keep moving? Damn you, time. Or the father's time. Let's see. Let's do this for now. How's that? It's like shape of a pedestal kind of thing. And maybe we'll have like this side of it be all like smashed up. Yeah, I want to have it so it's like all collapsed down here. And there's all like broken broken bricks and all that all cascading down here and then like a whole bunch of like stone in the ground there. And then like this wooden stuff which can also be all caved in that. All overgrown like trees and stuff growing out of it. And I think that's like a reasonable height for it there. To stick something on top of. Something that I don't know what it would be yet. Do that. I guess that bit doesn't really matter that much because we're gonna we're gonna have it be all broken here, so I think it doesn't matter that it's all wrong. <laughs> yeah. So we can have uh it's like, it's like weird angles and stuff. Yeah, this will be fun to this will be fun to do tomorrow. Because today it's over. Well, today isn't over. Today is still still gone. <laughs> There's still like what, almost ten hours left of today. It, well, depending on when you decide today ends. Like, does today end when the sun sets, or does today end at midnight? I did just say two o nine. That's current time. Put to me, menu. Uh, I'm pretty sure in like the modern. ISO calendar, uh, the day ends and the new day begins at midnight. In some ancient calendars, and probably in some like old traditional calendars, the day ends at like sunset. Hey. Uh, hey. I think the old Hebrew calendar was like that. The day ends at sunset, or maybe it ends at the next sunrise. One of the two. Anyway, that's completely irrelevant to everything else that's going on, so... Why would I even talk about it? Why not? Why not? So if you uh, happen to be watching on YouTube, you probably noticed. Actually, you wouldn't have noticed now this. You would have noticed a little while ago that there was like two weeks where I haven't uploaded anything. Sorry, I've just been like kind of busy and lazy. <laughs> Busy and lazy at the same time, bad combination. Um, when you see this one, hopefully it will be at the end of like a whole week of like daily uploads or something. <laughs> so there's like the swings and roundabouts of it. If I forget to upload for a while or I don't upload for a while, then uh, suddenly I upload like 20 in a row. Okay, I better go. <laughs> I better stop like jamming out to the music. Uh, I gotta go get ready for work. So, goodbye. Have a lovely rest of your day, or night, or sunrise, sunset, whatever it is. <laughs> and see you later.